Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to show you how to add a shared mailbox into Outlook Online. So if you have a primary mailbox and you have a shared mailbox, but you want to have them all in one page, you can use this method and I will, sh I will show you another method you can use where you can access the shared folder on a separate um, browser window as well. So to get started, uh, I already created a shared mailbox called uh, Sales Team. So I'm going to add that to my current uh, profile here uh, online. So I'm going to click on folders, I mean right click on folders and click on add shared folders. And here you, all you need to do is just type in the name of the mailbox that you want to add. If it doesn't show up, you can click on search directory to search it or you can simply just type out the whole email address and click OK, add and now you can see that I have sales team added right over here. I can go ahead and send a test email uh, from this mailbox so I can go to new message uh, but notice that there's no way for you to select where you send them from and this is normal uh, if you are actually sending uh, using the same profile as your primary profile. So to do that, to make to make the change, click here and go to show from. And in this case, uh, you want to click on from and then select uh, sales team or whatever mailbox that you want to use to send it. If you don't see your sales team here, click on other email address and type in the full email address of that uh, mailbox that you want to send on behalf of so or you want to send as so in this case i'm going to click on sales team and i'm going to send a quick test message to myself and i'm going to call this uh, tester and click send notice if you do it this way uh, the sent item may not show up here uh, that is because it is going to save that sent item in your primary uh, profile sent item, which is your actual mailbox sent item. Uh, you can change this behavior in the back end. So if you have exchange admins, they can help you change that behavior. But if, if you don't change it, then it will save that sent item inside your own personal one. Uh, so as you can see, I got the email message. Uh, I can click reply here to reply back and say I got it. As you can see it's been sent to uh, sales team and click send and if you go back to the sales team inbox you can see that I got that message back. So the next thing uh, is that if you want to access this mailbox in its separate uh, browser session or you want to have it in a new tab uh, you can go to new tab and just type outlook.office.com then forward slash the email address of that shared mailbox in this case sales on that on that score team and I'm gonna press enter as you can see these are the messages that I just sent and received uh, the advantage of using this method is that it's you get to focus more in the mailbox uh, rather than having to switch back within your actual personal mailbox and your shared mailbox. So in this case, if I try to send new email message here uh, and I type in tester number four, for example, notice that I don't have to change the form field here. If I send this out right now to this guy, uh, he will get it showing that it, it was sent from sales underscore team. And also <clears throat> that message will be saved inside the sent item. So this is the tester four that I just sent out. As you can see, it is saved inside the shared mailbox sent item. And if I go back to my email, and I check my folder up here in the inbox, you can see that it was sent from sales team and it shows it shows here in this update tester four. 
and I can reply back and say that I got it and click send and go back to here again as you can see uh, it's now showing up inside the inbox folder so this is how you will set up share mailbox in Outlook online uh, if you are already using Outlook client uh, you can do similar things there uh, but a lot of people do not know how to manage your mailboxes uh, online. So this is how you would do it. Uh, either you add it from here directly or you create uh, a new tab or a new browser session and uh, directly access the mailbox from the URL. And before you do this, by the way, make sure you have full access to that mailbox. If you do not know how to grant yourself full access, uh, check with your admin to do that for you from the Exchange Online Admin Center. And that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment and also feel free to subscribe. Thank you and uh, have a great day.